Hi everyone. So today is 10th November Friday and it is currently 4.36 and this is my to-do list for today. I am going to do physics, the chapter magnetic effects of electric current, maths for 3 hours. I am currently doing the chapter probability, economics and notes of Hindi. So yeah. That's my to-do list for today and right now I'm going to put a timer of 1 hour 30 minutes for doing mathematics. So this timer will end, so this timer will end at 6.07. So yeah, let's start studying. So here I was doing mathematics, the chapter was probability and it was a very small chapter and it was a very simple chapter. So it didn't take me much time to complete the NCRT and after complete the, completing the NCRT, I moved to the book of R.S. Agarwal and the R.S. Agarwal's book has like a number of examples as well as a lot of exercise questions. But still like all those questions are not very lengthy and they won't take much time so yeah i was done with them i think i'm left with a few more questions which i will practice tomorrow and after that tomorrow itself i will start doing the chapter heights and distances and the book of Paris Agarwal has like a lot of questions from that chapter so maybe it will take me three days to complete and once I'm done with the chapter of heights and distances, I'll move to the chapter of areas related to circles. And once I am done with the chapter of areas related to circles, my math syllabus would be over. And then I will start my revision. I'll start my revision from the chapter surface area and volume. Once I'm done with surface area and volume, I'll do statistics and then I'll do trigonometric identities. And then I will, one by one, I'll just start revising all the chapters. 537 and I'm done with my first study session of mathematics and now I'll take a break of 15 minutes so this timer will end at 652 so I'll start studying maths at 652 again. currently 655 and I'll put a timer of 1 hour 30 minutes this timer will end at 825 so yeah let's start and I just wanted to say something that you should have a good amount of sleep. Please, that is very, very important for your body. Because sometimes I feel that through my videos, I'm promoting, you know, I'm spreading a wrong message regarding a sleep schedule because I'm staying up very late and on the next day, I'm waking up early for school. So that is definitely not something that I want to promote. But I feel that unintentionally, I sometimes do promote that. So right now I am in the process of making my sleep schedule better. I will definitely try to, you know, go to bed as early as possible. And I'll also wake up early because I do that. I do wake up early for school or for any other work. I do wake up early, but I just don't go to bed at the correct time. So yeah, I just wanted to share it with you all because the other day my mom was saying that to your... Uh, you are not sleeping on time you know this is not good for you you should get a good amount of sleep so that is why i am saying it to you guys that please have a good amount of sleep otherwise your body will be tired and you won't even be able to study efficiently 829 and i'm done with my maths work for today right now i'm going to take a break of 30 minutes or 35 minutes after that i'll come back and start studying physics the chapter magnetic effects of electric current so yeah i'll come back after a long break currently 9 47 and it's been more than 35 minutes but that's all right i'll put a timer of one hour right now and i'll start practicing physics so this timer will end at 10 47 so yeah i'll start practicing the chapter magnetic effects of electric current now after completing this chapter, my syllabus of science would be over and after that I'll start revising and most probably I'll start revising from the physics chapters. And yes, I was watching the lecture of Rakshak sir. For uh, mathematics, I watched the lecture of Mansi ma'am 
and there are some points in which i'm getting a little confused so i have a few doubts and as i have already mentioned in one of my earlier videos we don't have a physics teacher at this point so maybe i'll ask some other physics teacher but i have to get my doubts clear otherwise my concepts won't be clear and if my concepts aren't clear i won't be able to attempt any questions 10:48 and i'm done with my physics work for today so right now i'm going to take a break of 15 minutes so this timer will end at 11:03 so from 11:03 i'll start studying economics is currently 11:04 and right now i'll put a timer of 40 minutes this timer will end at 11:44 and right now i'll start doing physics sorry economics and uh, yes only two topics are included from this particular chapter and a few more topics regarding g20 are there so the grasser has already made a video regarding that so i'll watch that video and that video is in the channel of the grasser only so i'll watch that video and when i was writing the notes of this chapter like yesterday i did not have any idea about it but when i checked the syllabus right now i got to know that some of the topics are deleted so yes i will not write the other topics from tomorrow onwards Twelve o'clock, and right now I'm not going to put any timer. I'm just going to start writing Hindi. Ah, uh, so yeah, and I don't have school tomorrow because tomorrow is second Saturday. So I'll just start writing the question answers of the poem. कर चले हम फिदा. I have I think three questions to write. Sorry, three answers to write from that this particular poem. So I'll write the answers to these poems. and after that tomorrow i'm going to write the question answers of atmatran so yeah that's it i don't really have much work to do from hindi but i still had a little bit of things that i needed to write today itself so yeah let's start and i was wearing a shrug because the winters are almost here and i was writing the notes of the chapter kar chale hum fada by kafi azmi and this chapter has already been completed in the school and i wrote most of the notes in the school itself because we are supposed to write them in the class and we have to show it to our teacher so that is why i have written most of the notes but i'm still left with all the notes from the chapter atmatran so i'll complete those notes as soon as possible Twelve twenty-seven. I am done with all my tasks for today. So yeah, today was a very productive day, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.